So in this short video, I'm now going to show you how to effectively cleanse the skin. Right, so first of all, we need to place a headband round so we can protect the patient's hair. So we come underneath here. And make sure you pull it right back so you get up to the hairline. So, around a two pence piece worth of cleansing gel, distribute it between your hands and first of all you're going to apply it to the skin. Up the neck, across the chin, across the cheeks, nose and the forehead. And then I'm going to begin my cleanse. So start up at the neck and come up in sweeping movements. Always keep your hands, at least one hand on the skin at one time. Then I'm using thumb circular movements along the jawline. I always think three goes is quite effective. And then on the chin as well. This is called thumb kneading. Then with one hand left on the face, I'm going to come across the chin and the upper lip and then bring the other one over and then the other. And then circular movements over the cheek and back again say three times, applying a reasonable amount of pressure and then up the nose and pull through the brows. Now I go round the eye orbit again three times. When I come to the forehead, leave one hand on and sweep. You usually do this six times. Pull through the eyebrows and finish on the temples. Then I'm going to take my gauze, but I use dry gauze. Outside this would be a normal facial cleansing gel that I'd use with water, but in here we use it concentrated. So I've used my dry gauze and follow the same pattern that I did my cleanse with. And then turning. Good. And that's cleanse one. Always when they're wearing makeup for ladies, always cleanse twice. If they have a lot on, you can even cleanse three times. So the same amount again. Distribute. Apply. And then begin the process. Sweeping. Some movements. And on the chin. Remember to leave one hand on as you sweep over the top lip. Remember to separate your first two fingers so it doesn't go over the lips. Circular movements up the cheeks and then up on the nose again. Pull through the brow, because that always feels nice, and then round the eye. And then, these are effleurage movements for the forehead. And always finish off pulling up through the brow and pressure on the temples. And remove again. So that's how we carry out an effective cleanse before we begin our skin treatments.